Hello, my name is Asep Superman, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I design a just-in-time teaching model. So why I decided to uh, design this teaching model, because year in, year out in my teaching career, I have to deal with, uh, you know, poor student attitudes. Usually, my students do not complete their sound readings. And most of the time, I have to spend the whole time talking in the classroom to deliver my lecture. So my students only act as passive listeners. So the purpose of designing this teaching model, because I want to alter or to improve my students' reading habits, and also to promote student engagement and active learning in the classroom. So as the name suggests, in this teaching model, the instructional activities, uh, you know, begin prior to the actual scheduled class meetings where my students, besides doing some in-class activities, they also have to do some online, uh, you know, activities before coming to my class. So these online activities include reading or viewing if you, if you decide to include, you know, multimodal resources and also um, online discussion and warm-up quiz. And the in-class activities include group discussion and problem solving activity or quiz and also teacher feedback later on i will discuss this uh, activities one by one so i i implemented this uh, teaching design or this teaching model in my assessment class where the lesson is, is about uh, key principles of good assessment and to give you some context uh, my students have limited experience in the area of assessments because they do not have any teaching experience and they are now in the fifth semester. The purpose of the lesson is to, is to introduce the concept of practicality, validity, and, you know, reliability, authenticity, and uh, backwash in the area of assessment. So the reading activities include... Uh, a handout that I made for my students and also, uh, you know, a chapter from Brown and Abby Wickrama's book, uh, entitled Language Assessment, Principles and Classroom uh, Practices. And I only upload the handout because my students have already have their own copy of this book. So I don't, I do not upload the book uh, for, uh, you know, copyright reasons. And also, they, my students also have their own copy. So I also, I only, once again, I only uploaded a, a handout that I made for my students. And then uh, the warm up quiz. This warm up quiz is actually is just a simple reading exercise, because you know, uh, this quiz uh, is designed to encourage my students to read the assigned reading. You know, because if they don't read the, the, the assigned reading, they could not do the, the warm up this quiz, you know. So it's just a simple reading exercise. If you read the, uh, the, the assigned reading, you could do this, uh, warm -up, you could complete this uh, warm up quiz. And this warm up quiz also embodied some, you know, some important points of the reading materials that my students needed to uh, focus on. Okay, I will share. I will show you uh, where I uploaded uh, my uh, handout. So this is my handout. So I've been privileged uh, to be equipped with this LMS by my institution. So I could, you know, implement this just in time teaching model. So I gave this uh, handout. I, I mean, I provided this handout a week before the schedule in class meeting. So my students have a week, had a week to study this material and also to read the chapter from Brown and Abi Wickrama's book. So this is uh, some comments from my students. And I've been very fortunate because my LMS, I mean, our LMS, also provided with a uh, student engagement score so we could see uh, how engaged my students were during these lessons. But unfortunately, this uh, there is a technical glitch, so their presence, their presence in, in, in the lessons uh, is not recorded in this LMS. 
uh, later on I will talk to the administrator. Maybe it's it's just about the technical glitch. Um, and this is uh, you know, so this is the the engagement score also the engagement activities. You can see how many times uh, this students Petria, for example, how many times this this uh, uh, this students uh, view the 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 handout that I upload online. Like Irpa, they uh, he she you know she reviewed uh, like eleven times. Uh, Putri she reviewed the material like uh, five times. And this is the quiz. I mean the warm up quiz that I provided for my students. So the quiz is just a, once again it's just a simple reading exercise. So this quiz uh, only include only consists of uh, five questions. So it's about practicality, uh, reliability, and validity, and authenticity, and washback. This quiz also serve as a student self assessment, where students could you know monitor their own understanding. So this is the score uh, board where students uh, uh, could see the the result of the warm up quiz. All right, now. Uh, I'm gonna show you. Uh, I'm I'm gonna show you uh, how I implement the uh, this in this just in time teaching model during the in class uh, time period. Uh, it's time for the discussion. So, in your discussion, if you have. Uh, if you have a question regarding your, the instructional material that you have already studied online, please now uh, discuss with uh, your friends in your circle. Okay. Okay. Now uh, you will have like 15 minutes to discuss uh, your confusion or your question with your friends. Okay. So this is the group discussion activity, and during this discussion, it is very important for the teacher to mingle around the group in order to make sure that the discussion is on the right track. for the problem solving, solving activity you have already uh, the problem with you that you have to complete it's a simulated assessment practice you will see uh, uh, in your paper you will read that there is a reading comprehension test and there are three students response to the test now your responsible is imagine that you are the teacher what score out of 10 would you give to student A, student B, and student C respectively? And give me the reason why. For example, if you give uh, 6 out of 10 to student A, why is that? And you give 7 to student B, why is that? Okay, and so on and so forth. Do, do you understand everyone? Yeah! Do you understand? 
Please now complete it. How long do you, do you need to complete it? 30 minutes? 15 minutes? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Okay, 20 minutes uh, will do. Okay, now you have 20 minutes to complete this uh, problem solving activity. So here is the problem solving activity, which is a simulated assessment practice. So um, this is a sample. This is a sample case of a reading comprehension test, and there are three responses from students A, B, and C. And my students and the problem that is uh, presented to my student is that they should act as a teacher and give scores to a. Uh, the three responses. They also have to give me the reasons why certain score are given to certain students. Okay, Vidya, what score did you give to student A? He is 10 out of 10. All right. What about student B? Um, it's 6. 6? No, it's 8. 8. And student C? 6. 6. So why is that? Because the student A uh, can answer correctly and I'm satisfied for the answer. Alright, what about student B? What about, how, how is the, the student B response? It's good, bad. Um, the grammatically correct, but the answer is not make me satisfied. What, what do you mean? The answer is not satisfying. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, I answer is complicated. Complicated. What about student C's response? Oh, the student C is the answer is not to the point. Okay, now what about you, Pidri? What, what score did you give to student A, B, and C out of 10? To, to the student A, I gave 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Because the, the answer of the student is grammatically correct. Mm -hmm. uh, the answer is understandable. Mm -hmm. And there is no mistake in the gramma grammatical. Alright, for the student B? For the student B, I gave uh, 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10? Uh, there is no grammatical mistakes, but the answer is too complicated for me. And student C? For the student C, I gave 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10? I think the, the answer is quite complicated, but I know if the purpose is the same with student A and B. The point, the point, point. yes. Okay. And there is a lot of mistake in grammatical. All right, everyone, please listen. Here, Hadrian, which is student C's uh, score. Do you think student C's uh, response is on point? Yes, it is, but it's a complicated. You mean there, there, is, uh, is, there are issues with readability and grammar? All right. So listen, everyone. Uh, Hadrian, gave 6 out of 10 to student C even though student C's response is correct in this case but because of the grammar and readability issues in, in, in uh, student C's response so Hedrin as the teacher reduced uh, the score uh, for the student C is that it? Hedrin? okay okay everyone now I want you to remember one of the key principles of good assessment is validity. When he dream reduce student C score just because of the grammar and readability is just because of the grammatical mistakes in the response, do you think his assessment is valid? No. No. Why is that, Maria? <laughs> Mm -hmm. the, uh, answer is oh, the answer is correct. Yes. Even though there are credibility issues and grammatical yes. issues, yes. so you don't mind the grammar issues and. I don't mind because the assessment is about. Mm -hmm. 
reading on the time. There you go, everyone. Now, do you think that uh, writing in a perfect grammar is part of reading comprehension construct? No. No. So, if the reading, uh, sorry, if the grammar, if the ability to write in a perfect grammar is not the construct of reading comprehension, then you should not score uh, the, you know, your student's ability in writing because writing and reading is uh, two different things so if you think that student, your student response is on point is correct even though the response in uh, in not a very good english you should not mind their english because in this case it's just a reading comprehension test what we assess is their comprehension as long as the response is understandable, uh, the response is uh, correct, then you have to give the perfect score. Okay, thank you everyone. Now, um, this is uh, the end of our lesson. I hope you learned something today. I'll see you next week. Okay.